So you want your options trading layout on Webull to look like mine, right? We have the three charts. We have our options premium down here. We have Turbo Trader all set up, right? Question I get all the time is, Ellie, I want to set up my options Webull to look just like yours. I want to hit rippers like you do. I want to be able to execute flawlessly, right? All those questions that you're going to have, we're going to answer in this video. I previously made a video of how to do this in five minutes, but I think I went a little bit too fast and new traders were getting confused. And I don't want confusion in the stock market. I want to make sure everyone is on the same page. So this is a custom layout and everything is synced together. So in order to make a new one, you're going to click on custom over here. But for me, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little tab up here and hit new layout. So what you're going to see is you're going to have all these different options here. But for me, right, I like to customize it my own because I have a certain way I like things being set up. I've been using Webull since this came out. So we're going to click on blank layout here. And you're going to see, right, you're going to need widgets. You're going to need your charts, okay? You're going to need to be able to trade. So you're going to need Turbo Trader. You need to see what positions you're in. And also, you're going to need the options chain, right? So you do get free data with Webull if you make your first options trade. So we're going to start this from scratch. So all I did is click on widgets here and add in what I want. So we're going to move this down into the bottom right, make this a little bit smaller. Now, you want to be very sure when you're doing this that everything is grouped together. So here is group one. We're going to make this group one. Now, you're going to see it says group inside layouts, right? This is one singular layout. So if I had multiple screens, okay, and I want to be seamlessly linked all those different screens, I would hit cross group layouts. And we're going to do that later in this video. So you can see, so we're going to move this down here. This is our actual options chain. We're going to move our positions in here. Now, our Turbo Trader, you can see it's not grouped, so we need to group it to group one. It's very important. Now, we're going to set up our Turbo Trader. This is, again, important because this is pretty much how this whole entire system works. So you click this little tab up here, and you're going to go to Turbo Trader settings. You can see here, it says place orders stocks, right? If we're trading options, are we buying stocks? No. So we're going to turn that all off. And just all you do is click those little indicator checkmark boxes and get rid of them. So we're going to come down here to where it says place orders options. So we're going to see it says buy market. You can't buy market on Webull for whatever reason. But buying at the ask is the same thing. Now, these offsets you need to have in place, 0 0.02. So if, say, the ask is 1, right, this will bump it to 1.02. Therefore, it gives you a little wiggle room, and you'll get, you'll get filled almost immediately, especially trading SPY. It's the same thing as buying the market, okay? Next, you want to have sell market right? Or sell bid, which is just very much the same thing. Now on a little bit, you know, more spready names, things like that, you go to buy customize. Okay. So this would be at the mid price, right? So if there's like a 10 cent spread, it'll hopefully fill you in the middle. We want to scroll down though, because we're not done yet. So we can see order confirmation. You want to turn that off because it's going to give you a pop-up every time you try to execute and it's going to drive you nuts and you're going to miss the play. Trust me, I've been there. Now sub orders. So we can see when I turn it off, this area in here, goes away. But this is really simple. You can automatically set your stop loss and your take profit as soon as you're in a trade. It makes things very, very easy for you. But for this example, I'm going to turn that off because what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a manual stop. So you can see when I click here, it pops up here with my stop loss. And for this example, we're going to do 15% because say we're scalping SPY. Now, we're going to scroll through, make sure we're all done. We are not all done. We need to click this button here, right? So cancel all single options of current simple, right? Or cancel all single options. So we're going to do this one, right? And we're going to take off reverse and we're going to take off flatten because we don't need that for this. This, what it does is, is say you're trying to get filled on a bunch of contracts and it's just not filling you. You can click this button, cancel, and any open orders you have will automatically cancel. We do want to keep close on right here because that means we can close things very easily with a click of a button. Working orders right here will show you how many you know options orders you have out there, whether it's 100 or 50 or a million, right? It doesn't matter. And then position, this will actually show you your P&L. And you can change this to your day's P&L or your open P&L, right, for your open position. So for me personally, I leave it for the open as I actually turn off my uh, P&L for the day because I don't want to see. I only look at the end of the week. But we are all set up on TurboTrader. Again, if you're following along, make sure you're, this is grouped. So we're just going to click down here and drag this up and move it over to make it look nice and pretty. We'll take this and we'll move this out. Now we want to get our charts set up. So let's move this out. 
move this down, right? So we have what we call one chart. If you want one chart or two chart, you can click through all these options here, right? You can do two charts, you can do a top chart, four charts, it goes all the way up to nine, okay? So let's first get indicator setups. So we're gonna click on indicator settings. And by default, moving averages will be on, but we don't use moving averages. We use the EMAs. So we're going to click here. We're going to put eight, right? The length of our EMA or 20. If you want to use the nine EMA, you change this to nine. If you want to use the 21 EMA, you can change this to 20. If you want to use the 200, the 50, the 34, the 13, right? All you have to do is change these and then click on style. And this will actually change the colors of it. So it's pretty intuitive. Right. And I also use something called VWAP. So we're going to put VWAP on there. And another question I get from new traders all the time, I don't know why I'm just jumping around, is, you know, yo, Ellie, like when I click on VWAP, I get bands. Right. It looks like this. Why? Well, what is that? Make sure, depending on your brokerage, right, if you just have regular VWAP, right, where VWAP bands, all you do is click and turn them off. OK, so don't go crazy. Don't say you have a different one than me. Right. But VWAP is very simple. And we will because all you do is click the button and that is it. Mine is gold. Now we want to also this is too noisy up here. We don't really like this. Right. So we can click this button and we can hide certain indicators, et cetera. But what I'm going to do is we're going to go to chart settings because we are not done yet. So we want to also take off news. I don't like having the news thing blink at me all the time. Honestly, it gives me anxiety. Uh, we're going to, you can change the colors, whatever you want for here, uh, the trade. So you can also have it. So if I click this button on here, share records, it'll show you we actually bought and sold. So at the end of the day, right, when you look at your PL, you should be looking at this. You want to see your buys and your sells because it'll tell you like, Hey, you know, did I get stopped out? Where did I close it? Could I kind of held this longer, right? It's great for back testing and understanding how options actually work. And also it'll show you tabs on your screen of where they are for me. I don't like having the options on my tr uh, trading charts. I like them have on the options premium charts themselves. But we're not done yet. So we need to turn on something called extended hours. So if you go to access, right? And here you want to click on extended hours. I think that's very important to have. I believe if you click this, it'll show you the high and low of each candle, right? That you're looking at. Super, super convenient too, because it tells you the high of the day, the low of the day, et cetera. So you can leave that on, turn it off, whatever you want. Now we need to turn off this fixed, right? So this fixed will show, okay, all this noisiness in the top left. And if you have a smaller screen, it's kind of annoying. Like I'm not going to lie to you. So let's turn this to floating. So I like nice clean charts where I can execute flawlessly without a bunch of noise. And what you'll see is when things are floating, if I hover over it, You'll see it has my EMAs, my VWAP, and what those levels are. So here we go. We're all good, but you're going to start to say something. If you've been following me a long time, you'll be like, yo, Ellie, you're on the one minute. That's trash. You would be correct. The one minute is trash. So we want to change this to the 10 minute. Now, we want to have multiple charts, right? Because we don't want to constantly be flipping back and forth like a madman. Because that's, that's, not, that's not easy trading, okay? That's not. So we're going to click up here on grid. And we are going to hit indicators. Indicators means we'll sync through our entire grid. So we're going to make this a three stack. And if you want to simply make this, you know, oop, just move something. Don't know why. But if you want to make this, you know, all the same ticker, you just hit symbol. And then you can go through and change everything. Another good tip is if it looks too congested, all you do is click and drag on the side. And it will tell you you know, a hat, it will show you a little bit more room. Now, this is where we're really going to get into the sauce, right? It's how do you get the options premium chart onto your screen? Okay, I showed this in the last video, but I didn't go into detail of how to actually do it. You're going to click over the options, okay? And you're going to click on the last or the mid or whatever you have here. If you click on the ask or the bid, it's going to give you a pop-up, right? See, so it gives you this pop-up. If you were trying to get into a trade immediately, that's going to freak you out and you're going to stumble. What you want to do is click on this white, this white number here. Okay. Double click. Why is it not synced? Oh, it's because it's not synced, right? Uh-oh. LOL. So I'm actually going to leave this in this video, right? So Ellie, I'm trying to fill, but it's not syncing over. You got to click up here and set your group as one. So congratulations. Now everything is synced. Uh, I still had this the symbol thing up, so it changed it a little bit. So here you go. We got a 30-minute chart here. 
And then we have our 10 minute. So we'll go to spy. And there you go. There's our spy 10 minute. Looks like a cup and handle here, but with PPI tomorrow, I'm not sure if it's going to break. But here you go. Now you have your actual options premium chart down here. And you can trade this on the one minute, right? You're trading SPX. You can trade this however you want. You even have your indicators here. You can mark support and resistance on your actual options indicator. Okay. And then when you actually want to get in trade, all you can do is click here of buy one at the ask, right? Or if you want to change it, click on quantity settings. You can buy a hundred or a thousand or a million, right? You can, or, or five, right? Whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever your risk tolerance is. You can even do it, okay? By percentage of your account, the amount of money you want to spend, right? You can do all of those. However, I normally just leave it on the quantity settings, right? If I'm normally going to get five or so, all I do is click on these options and notice how they pop up seamlessly. Okay, now say I was trading Tesla. Okay, so I'm trading Tesla. Tesla looks like dog shit, by the way. I'm currently short, um, but that's neither here nor there. 170 is actually my target. So at this video, I'm going to go sell those. Looks like dog shit. Look at the bearish trend, et cetera. Okay, I digress. I'm getting a little distracted here. So we're going to click over here and get Tesla. So we're going to click on, we're going to buy puts, right? We think we're going to get that 170 break. So we're going to click on the last and boom. Congratulations. You have the Tesla puts up. And you can see how they did today, right? It's really interesting. You can see tight consolidation in the morning, right? What did Tesla do this morning until about 1030? Okay, pretty decently tight consolidation until we got the knife candle. And you can see, if I line these up almost exactly, you can see this reflected in the chain. And that's all I do, right? So if I want to buy five of these, I'm going to buy 10 of these. Uh, for this example, do one. So click on one. Okay, starts to move, right? All I do is click sell stop minus 15% and it'll show a little red line of where my stop is. And I can manage my stop through here pretty much just clicking and dragging my mouse. So let's get into, yo, know, Ellie, I have a multiple, multiple monitors and I am confused on how to get this all set up and, and sync seamlessly. So we briefly mentioned it in the very beginning of the video, but I'm going to show you is if you click here and you do set as group layout, Okay, so we're gonna do this one, one. We're gonna do this one, one. And we're gonna do this one, one. So all I did is go to that set as group layout. So we're going to come back to our other layout and we're gonna set this one as one and set this one as one. And that is it. Now, when you actually click detach, okay. I don't know why it's taking forever. But when you actually click detach, you're gonna have two windows, okay? And you're not gonna be able to see my other screen but when I want to move this to it over to the right side of my screen. And as I click, okay, so say I want, I want spy calls or Tesla calls, they're all going to sync all seamlessly together. See, I, I know you can't see my screen, but I click on it and notice that it all changes. So if I change it back to Tesla on my other screen, all right, it changes over here. Um, I know you can't see the other screen, but I hope you get the idea. That is all you have to do. Simple, easy, breezy, color girl. So I'm not sure if anyone has ever taught you how to set this up correctly or in this much detail. Uh, if it helped you in any way, you know, feel free to you know, like the video. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just here trying to help the masses uh, become financially free. Peace.